Well, it's the biggest sports day of the year in El Paso. The 89th Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl being played today between UCLA and Pitt. Thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Morgan. Natasia has the day off. It was the first time schools from the ACC and the Pac-12 both made it to El Paso for the big game since 2019. And we, of course, have complete coverage for you tonight like you'll see nowhere else. Let's start by sending it over to sports director Colin Deaver. Colin, said it in our 4 o'clock hour. I just couldn't believe the ending to that game, the back and forth action. Bruins came into this game ranked 18th, but a little bit of a meltdown there at the end of that uh, fourth quarter. Andy, we have not had a Sun Bowl featuring both an ACC and a Pac-12 team since 2019 when Arizona State took down Florida State on New Year's Eve. De a day earlier, uh, th almost three years to the day, I should say, uh, since that game, an absolute instant classic here in the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. Number 18 UCLA coming in with the number three rushing attack. Pittsburgh at eight and four winners of four consecutive games in the regular season. Coming into the Sun Bowl, having the number four rushing defense in the country. You had to figure something had to give. Let's roll those highlights. Here come the Panthers making their second appearance in the Sun Bowl since 2018. As for UCLA, their first trip to the Sun Bowl since 2014 when they finished the season 10 and 3. Now the Bruins jumped out to a 14 point lead at one point in this one. Uh, this is Dorian Thompson Robinson late in the second quarter throwing his second touchdown of the day. He accounted for three touchdowns on the afternoon, but again had to leave uh, at some point in the second half with an injury. But then Rodney Hammond and Pittsburgh went to work. They have a running back that can get it done as well. Pittsburgh does. This is Hammond's second touchdown of the day. That would tie the game up at 28. Pittsburgh led 34-28 with under a minute to go. And that's when things got crazy. This is TJ Harden for UCLA running it in to put the Bruins in front. 35-34 with 34 seconds left in the game. You thought at that point that UCLA was going to get it done. But if you thought that, you thought wrong. That's when Pitt's Nick Patty went to work a fifth year senior making his final start as a collegiate today. He throws it over the middle to Bub Means to move the chains for a Pittsburgh first down. They would clock it and then here is Nick Patty again. He was very elusive with his feet today. He would elude the rush here. Scrambles to set up a potential game winning field goal and Ben Sauls entered this kick which you're about to see. Four for four on the afternoon. Sauls from 47 yards away to win is true. Pittsburgh wins the Sun Bowl 37 to 30 35 over UCLA. They were dancing in the frosted flakes afterwards. Afterwards, it was Ben Sauls and Nick Patty. Here's your heroes after the game. As awesome as it is, I knew we were going to get a chance because we had Nick Patty at quarterback today. And Nick Patty's been kept in the dark all year. Nick Patty came out and showed everybody what he's about. I dedicate my win to Nick Patty today, okay? That's what I say. It means everything. You know, five years with this team, love these guys. Just happy we can get it done. What was going through your mind when you got the ball back 34 seconds ago? Just get down the field, get, get Ben in, in a good position. We have the best kicker in the country, so just give him a chance. We know we make it. Pitts ends the season at nine and four winners of five their last five games while UCLA loses their last game to fall to nine and four as well. We'll see if they end up in the top 25 rankings after this heartbreaking defeat in the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. It was fantastic. Again, the first time in three years that we have seen teams from the ACC and the Pac-12 make the trip due to COVID-19. That meant there were a lot of fans from out of town from big places in town to see El Paso.